Hi, thanks for watching another episode of Marion Brush TV. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble your Bullfrog Track 2 system. Now, the Bullfrog Track 2 system is our handleless bull floating system and it's available in 4 foot, 6 foot, and 8 foot widths. Now, since all of them are very similar to assemble, I'm just going to be assembling the 4 footer to give you an idea of how it's done. Generally, when we ship the Bullfrog, we ship it in two separate boxes. The first box will contain your channel floats and the bars that are needed to attach the mechanism together. And then the second box is going to contain those two outer mechanisms as well as two lengths of 50 foot rope complete with the rope clips attached. And those are used for attaching to your mechanism once it's complete and pulling it across your concrete slab. Now when you begin your assembly, I generally recommend spacing your bullfrog mechanisms about 30 inches apart. This is going to give you the right stance for when you put those spacer bars on. Now your spacer bars are going to come in two different sizes. There's two quarter inch aluminum spacer bars and then there's going to be one half inch spacer bar. The half inch spacer bar is going to go in the center and then the two quarter inchers are going to go on the outside. Now I'll show you how to put one of them on on the outside from this distance and then I'll get a close up when we put the, uh, the final outer one on so that you can see what it looks like up close. But all you're going to do is you're going to come out to the outside of this mechanism here and here. You're going to see that there's a quarter inch bolt and that bolt is going to have a uh, lock washer on there. Go ahead and unscrew those and then what you're going to do is place this quarter inch aluminum spacer and align the hole right over the hole that you just took that bolt out of and then go ahead and tighten that bolt down. Do the same thing on the other side and then you can take a quarter inch nut driver and tighten that down a little bit. Just snug it. And then that's going to do it for that first outer quarter inch spacer bar. Now we'll move on to the center spacer bar and that one's pretty simple. That half inch spacer bar has two holes and those are going to align perfectly with the holes on these L brackets. And you're going to just go ahead and slide that in there, align the holes, and you're going to push that universal pin right back in there. Usually it ships with the universal pin attached to the mechanism, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding that pin. It'll just be attached to each of the mechanisms. Then you can go ahead and put that holding pin in there. And then you've got your center spacer attached. As you can see, it's starting to become more rigid. Now I'm going to get a close-up view of that last spacer that's going to go on this side, and that way you can have a close-up view of what that looks like to attach. Attaching that final spacer is going to be an identical procedure to the first quarter-inch spacer that you put in. You're going to remove those two bolts from these outer holes on your mechanisms and then you're going to go ahead and take that quarter inch spacer bar and you're just going to snug that in there just like that. You can just start by hand tightening that just to get it just to get it lined up and then you're going to take a quarter inch nut driver and then just snug that up just a little bit just so that lock washer seats. And then you have assembled the main part of the mechanism of your Bullfrog Track 2. Alright, your next step is going to be joining together the mechanism that you just assembled with the C-channel floats. This is a pretty easy process, but it's good to note that with the four-footer, your stance is going to be a certain width, around 30 inches from bar to bar. With your six-footer and your eight-footer, they're going to be a little bit wider. The main premise is going to be the same, though. When you attach the mechanism to the floats, you want to try to get them centered on the floats. So what we're going to do is just lift this up, place it down on the floats, and with the four footer, the distance from the end of the float to the base bracket here uh, is going to be about five and seven eighths inches from each side. Again, that's going to just center it on the C-channel floats. The next step is going to be to take your quarter by 20 nut driver and you're just going to put that on here and tighten all of these quarter inch bolts. There's going to be four of them per base bracket. So you're going to go around and tighten all those evenly. Um, tighten all these evenly here and here. 
And then what you're going to have is your base brackets of your mechanism are going to be joined together with your C-channel floats. That's going to allow it to stay attached when it pivots forward and reverse, and those floats are going to follow that mechanism. So it gives you the right tilt at the right direction. All right, I'm finishing up tightening this last base bracket. And they don't need to be real tight, just tight enough to, uh, to bite into that C-channel, and that way you know that it's going to hang on to it when it goes to tilt. That looks really good. Now we are ready for ropes. All right, you're almost done with the assembly process. The last step is the easiest by far. All you're going to do is go ahead and set your ropes on each side of the mechanism. And then you're going to attach a rope clip to each of these eye bolts. Uh, there's four eye bolts, one in each corner of the bullfrog mechanism. Once those are attached, you're ready to go to work. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching Marion Brush TV. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-930-9062. Have a great one.